guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Rotem, and I would love for you to join the family, so you can do so by subscribing below. So make sure that you do that real quick before we get into this video. Also, please make sure to thumbs up this video if you do like it. Don't forget to do that. And also make sure to comment below what you're going to be for this year. Today's video is a different kind of video. This is the last of my Halloween series. Very, very sad. Halloween is like the best time for makeup artists and I've had so much fun this year. I hope you guys enjoyed this series, but for the last video I decided to do a last minute Halloween uh, makeup look. Just because it's already, you know, so close to Halloween. This is very last minute, so if you guys are one of those who procrastinate a little bit, I see you, because girl, I'm the same way. If you waited till the last minute to get a costume or you don't know what you wanna be, this is kind of to help you guys figure out how to do something real quick with your face so you look like you kinda came up with an idea for Halloween. So, if you guys wanna see how to get some last minute Halloween looks, then keep on watching this video. Okay guys, so for my first tip, one option for you guys is picking up some stencils. You might already have them in your house. Also have them, I'm sure, at like CVS or Walmart, one of those. These are just some of the ones that I have. This one is super pretty. Look at these. You can just do this all over your face and fill it in with like a red eyeshadow, red paint. You could like put this in your forehead or on like your cheek and then fill these little things around your face with some eyeshadow. I think that would be so cool with like uh, yellow and orangey shades. I also have these little butterflies. So if you guys get something like that, you can be a butterfly and just do them like all over your face with pretty colors. I'm gonna use the butterfly stencils. Um, I'm gonna use the IT brushes for Ulta. This is a airbrush concealer brush. I'm gonna take a magenta shade from the Morphe 35C palette and I'm just gonna tap it in. So I'm just making sure to tap it in. Very simple, nothing extra extravagant. Just making sure to get everything in here. And there you have it. Pretty cute, pretty cute. Let's blend out the little marks. Then you can add another one on this side if you'd like. Let's use the Flat Top Foundation Brush by Tweezerman. I'm gonna go for the teal shade right here. Sit this where I want it. Don't move it after you sit it, because then you're gonna mess the whole shape up. And then just fill it in here, in tapping motion. So now that you have your butterflies, you can Bedazzle them and apply some little jewels or you can also apply glitter just to make it more fun, you know. Put it on there. And then all you need to do next is just apply some lipstick. I'm going to match this to my butterfly. This liquid lipstick is by Jeffree Star. It is in the shade Masochist. So all you really need is the stencil and just a little bit of eyeshadow um, and then these little things that you can glue on just for to add a little bit of something to the look. And that's really it, honestly. Very, very simple. And then you are officially a butterfly. Girl, I am so tired. All right, guys, so all I did was just apply some foundation. I used the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation. So I left the lip on just because I felt it would be appropriate. So all you gotta do for this one is if you have some fishnet stockings, you can use this to um, create mermaid scales. Let's brush with the magenta shade that we used earlier for the butterfly. And we're just gonna go ahead and contour a little bit. Super cool. Um, I do think it would work better though if you did put it over your head. I'm going to take the brush that I used with the teal shade, same exact brush, same exact shade, and I'm going to pull this out 
and do the same. See, when you don't pull it out hard enough, it doesn't give you a bigger shape, but it's all good as long as it looks like scales, you're Gucci. Okay, while I have it down there, I'm gonna just extend it over here and just fill this in. It's literally that simple, you guys. You're officially a mermaid. All you need is like a mermaid costume, and if you don't have one, it's fine. People will know this is the scale technique. This side came out better, um, but I do feel like if you put it over your head, it probably will work better. So just make sure you do it before the rest of your makeup. You can also add like little stickers of like seashells and stuff like that to just make the look a little more extravagant and obviously use like eyeshadows with these kind of pastel-y colors. Um, I do have a full mermaid tutorial on my channel if you would like to go all out. I did glitter everywhere, I did stickers everywhere, I just went all out for that one. So another last minute makeup look you guys can do for Halloween is of course a skull. You want to take a white paint, I'm going to use a white foundation. This is by Makeup Forever, this is from their foundation palette. And I'm just going to apply this to this entire lip area and bring it out. So once you've done all the paint or the foundation, whatever, it's just this white base, you're just going to take a black eyeliner. I'm going to use the NYC liquid liner and I'm just going to create the teeth. So all I'm going to do is just make some lines. So then what you want to do is just take the eyeliner and fill in the inner rim of the lips. And then what you want to do is just extend it out. It's going to carve kind of like a contour here. We're going to make it pretty thin of a line. Pencil brush and blend this out. So I used the shade Corrupt by Makeup Geek for the black. And then I took Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek for the brown to blend it out. And then just take a blending brush just to make sure it's nicely blended. This is literally it, you guys. It does not get it any easier than that. I promise you guys you can do this. Also, of course, do like a smoky eye with this or do the big dark circles to make it like a hollow. And then, of course, you can do the noses. All right, guys. So for my last quick last minute Halloween look, I have a cat for you guys. Of course, this is a very simple look to achieve and it's a very unoriginal one. Most of you guys probably have somewhere in your house some ears like this. You know it, I know it. Let's be honest with ourselves. So this is a really good prop for this look. I start with the nose. I'm gonna take this really small, precise brush. This is the Veramona brush with no name, but it looks like this. I'm going to take my Inglot Gel Liner. I'm gonna take the side of the brush and just create a straight line down. So now I'm going to take my Sigma EO6 brush and I'm going to dip into this eyeliner and I'm just going to create small dots on the sides here. I'm going to take the same brush and just bring in this eye. And I'm just going to wing out a little bit of the eye here. I've been creating a real wing. Like I'm just doing the outer and inner parts. And it's very, very simple. So lastly, I'm taking my Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Witches. And I'm just applying this to the top lip. And that's it, you guys. That is all for the cat portion of this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you for some last minute creative ideas for Halloween. I hope you enjoyed my Halloween series for this year. And if you do need some more inspiration, I do have some full extravagant videos for 
pink leopard, full skull, glam skull with some gold glitter and stuff like that. So that's on my channel and I hope you guys enjoy this. And yeah, I hope you have an awesome Halloween. Stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!